One thing people frequently want to do in Revit is add a stamp to their title blocks that allows them to turn on or off their stamp whenever they're ready to print their construction documents. Here you see I've got my title block with a stamp on it. If I edit type, you see I've got parameters that allows me to turn the stamp on or off and also turn on or off a not for construction watermark. So in this project, or in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created the family for my stamp, how I loaded that into my title block, and how I set up these parameters that allows me to swap out the stamp and the not for construction watermark whenever I'm ready to plot a design development or schematic design or construction document set. If you want to get this title block or a free schematic design level title block, check out hyperfinearchitecture.com or bennorkinarchitecture.com. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, you can check out both those sites for more free tutorials and paid professional courses. But let's get started with this tutorial now. So I'm in my title block family. I'm not in the project anymore. I'm editing the actual title block family. And what we need to do is create a new family that's a generic annotation that's going to house our stamp. So we'll go to File, New, Family. We'll go up to Annotations and we'll choose generic annotation. And this is where we're going to load our stamp. We can get rid of that text right there. We'll go up to Insert, Image, and here you'll just load any image you have of your stamp. You can either take a picture of it or scan it. I've got some Illustrator files that you can download for free. Um, I've got about eight different states, so if you know how to use Illustrator, you can uh, get one of those for free at hyperfinearchitecture.com. But basically I'm going to resize it to about two inches and you can't snap it but you can sort of drag it right in the middle and then we'll load this into the project and just click anywhere to place it I'll drag it in place and so now that stamp is where I want it to be you can see over here it says visible and it's a check mark so what we have to do is add a parameter to turn it on or off so I'll click right here I'll add a parameter and I'll call it stamp and we'll make it a type, that way we can change it on or off for all sheets at once. If I do instance, when we get into Revit, we'll have to change it off, turn it on or off on every sheet individually. So a type, you can change it on or off globally. We'll hit OK. And now we've got that parameter. So what we can do then is come up to our family types and create a new type. So this is going to preload a type when we load this back in. And we'll say with stamp and it'll be checked on. We'll create a new one called not for construction and we'll turn that off. So now let's make a similar parameter for the not for construction text. So these are just text notes. They're not parameters, they're not labels. It's just a text note that's going to be automatically always on. And we'll do the same thing here where it says visible. We'll check to the right of it. We'll create a new parameter and we'll call it watermark. And again, we'll make it a type, and we'll say OK, and OK. So then we come up back to our family types, where it says not for construction. We want the stamp off. We want the watermark on. Where it says with stamp, we want the stamp on, the watermark off. And we'll hit OK. Now we can load this back into our project. To load back into our project, we'll just hit Load Project. I only had one other project open, so it automatically loaded in there. So now, if I select this title block, uh, I can choose the one we just created. So let's choose that was called 36 by 24. You can see it already has the with stamp and not for construction types preloaded. So here we go. I've got that title block in the family now. If I select it and edit type, you can see I've got with stamp and not for construction. So if I switch that, the not for construction comes up, the stamp goes away. And you can just flip those back and forth as needed. And that's it. Hope this tutorial helped. Uh, make sure to check out hyperfinearchitecture.com slash Revit for some more free tutorials and paid professional courses, as well as free Revit and architecture resources for you guys to use in your project. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any suggestions or requests for future tutorials. Thanks for watching.